Good morning, Warriors. Hope you guys had a nice weekend, nice Memorial Day weekend. I didn't get a chance to do one over the weekend. I uh, was caught up with all kinds of yard work, all kinds of work around the house, uh, doing a bunch of things. I love being out in nature and to uh, kind of see things. So we took a little trip and uh, kind of had a lot of fun. So hope you guys are doing well on your purpose. Hope you guys are on your plan. We're getting close to uh, 730 days. I think it's 725 days. And so 730 is the mark that I use with uh, two years. So we're getting close to that. And so I'll probably, probably do one, a special one on uh, day 730, just to kind of, uh, kind of give you some reflections that I've had over the last couple years. But it is uh, getting better. Uh, and I see the benefits, and uh, it's just a tremendous life uh, type of thing. I've had a couple of viewers say, you know, what a great thing that retention is, uh, and I wholeheartedly agree. I think it's the best thing that's happened in my life, especially, uh, you know, from a, a physical, spiritual type of, of life uh, types of things. I think it's one of the best things you can ever do. And once again, it's one of those old truths that I forgot about or I really didn't pay attention to. When I was younger, and uh, I think we're kind of living in one of those matrix that uh, we see on the movies, where you're kind of living in a in a, a, a blue matrix, and, and you live, live life one way. People tell you to live life one way, and really, you should be kind of living a life in a different way. And certainly, I think when it comes to retention, that's the case. So um, I appreciate all the comments, likes. Uh, subscriptions, donations, please continue doing that. Uh, and, and, you know, I, uh, I like any kind of person who writes in. I had a couple this weekend that were not the, uh, I would say, the kindest in intentions, but that's okay. You know, I, I think it's important, and I'll kind of address those in a couple minutes uh, because I do want to respond. I did see some good videos with the uh, uh, someone called Liver King. My uh, son kind of introduced me to him. And I think there's some good there. You know, I don't know uh, totally uh, enough about Liver King, but I do. I did uh, hear one of his videos on the nine different um, ancestral rights or traits, and I like a lot of those. I do like a lot of those, and I think we're going to kind of cover some of those and talk about those in helping you with your journey to continue to uh, move ahead and gain that excellence that we need to get. So, uh, but first let me kind of, I'll respond to a couple comments here and we'll talk about those today. Uh, one of them, and I have one uh, video that I didn't realize that has a lot of views, uh, 3,000, so thank you so much for that. And that's the one talking about women, men really need uh, feminine energy uh, to, to work together. And I think that that's an important type of concept to look at. So I'm gonna kind of focus back on that a little bit today. Maybe we'll do part two or whatever we call it. But um, we had a couple comments on these things. And there was another comment that I think that uh, William, uh, let's see, William Rothschild made one talking about me comparing Tupac to, to Napoleon. So let me kind of go on that one as well. So uh, first of all, let me say this. I appreciate LP, was the other person, and uh, William Rothschild, I think it's also known as a manifester or something like that. I appreciate you guys commenting, so please continue. And as I've always done, I mean, people say things that they feel, this is great, you know, I, I appreciate that. This is uh, why we have the First Amendment and then we have freedom of speech. And I know that's been threatened at different times and uh, continues to be threatened because some people don't like it when we speak our minds. And uh, I may not totally agree with what you're saying, but I do appreciate the effort and you didn't have to go ahead and comment. So LP, William Rothschild, thank you for commenting. Let me kind of address a couple of things you're mentioning. LP had talked about this one on men and women uh, and feminine energy. So he mentioned the comment that we all have some sort of masculine energy. And if you look at testosterone, um, he's correct in that. I mean, I'm not, I, I don't know. I. I go back and look at my video, but uh, if I said otherwise, then, then I was wrong. But the point being is that that's not the point I was kind of making within the presentation. I think the idea that women do have 
levels of testosterone and estrogen as we all do to some levels. Obviously, it's more pronounced when it comes to, to men, but women tend to lose, from my understanding, testosterone during their periods, during periods of the month. So the idea is that they're not as, uh, they don't keep that, that level of energy and they lose their level of energy during periods of the month. So the thing is, is that males should not be losing their energy. This is my point. And, and males need that feminine energy, which women do have, to complement each other. And I know there's a lot of people who may not agree with that because they're living in a, a world that I believe is wrong. Uh, but they're living in a different world, you know, and we've had this world for thousands of years and every dynasty we've had people who have not gone along with God's plan and, and that's their choice, you know. Uh, I'm not going to judge you guys right or wrong on, on that type of thing. But the idea is that, you know, I follow, I'm trying to follow God's plans and when I look at what I see and what's worked over thousands of years in history, there are certain things that work and what works is men and women complementing each other with feminine and masculine energy. And not that one is better than another, and that wasn't the uh, the point that I was making with that one as well, but the idea is that they both have energies that are needed in strong abundance. And that's kind of the point I'm saying. Now with males, I think that, and because I'm a male, I, know I always talk about males more, the idea is that you don't want to lose that energy. You don't want to lose that energy that you're having. And so there's many ways to lose energy. So for example, um, with the comments that we're talking about, I could very easily just get upset with the comments and rant and rave and things like that. But I'm losing energy in doing that. Now, if you would have known me 40 years ago, I probably would have been doing that. And I wasn't smart enough to realize that, you know, people have the right to say what they want to say. But I also have the right to respond back the way I want to respond back. And I'm not going to waste my energy getting mad when people don't have a comment I agree with. And I think that's important to focus on because that's one of the ways you can lose energy. Obviously, another way is to see pictures and releasing physically, and that's another bad way to lose energy. So the point I was making, and once again, I appreciate LP making comments and, and making it the comment he's making, is that um, you don't want to lose your energy. That's the whole point of what we're talking about. We don't really want to lose energy we want to keep the energy and we want to use it and transmute it into purposes, things getting done. And I get inspired by people like the Liver King. I'm not sure if he's on retention or, or not, but the bottom line is that he does a lot of the things that, other things that supplement that type of journey and plan. Now, the idea is that you want to go ahead, and I got a lot of bumps in this road here, so I apologize for that, guys. But the thing is, you want to go ahead and save your energy. You want to use it. Now, I'm 60, I'll be 61 in a, a month or so. And so I want to save this energy and use it for things that I can actually go ahead and accomplish and positive types of things that we can actually do. So the thing is, is that I want to, I want to make sure that you're kind of seeing it from my point of view here is that as we look at becoming excellent, you want to go back to a lot of the old um, truths that are in the world. And like I said, I'll focus on the Liver King. He gave several. We talked about these in a lot of the episodes that we do. We talk about the things that I believe in cold showers and trying to relate to nature. I walk around not with uh, shoes on, but trying to uh, kind of you know work in, work in the ground, work outside, all those type of things. Uh, eat the right types of foods. Now, I'm not sure if I, uh, you know, I'm going to go completely like Liver King does. But the idea is, is that I try to watch and avoid the carbs and things that are not good for me. And so there's lots of things you can do to actually accentuate your, your plan and make yourself uh, be a, have a lot more energy. And those are the types of things. So getting back to the response back to LP's question in, in comment statement, I'm not sure if he had it as a question, but he was making a statement. Uh, we all do have energy. We have feminine, masculine energy, and I think that's actually right. But I also think the purpose of what we're trying to say here is the idea that you have to keep your masculine energy. You can't just lose your masculine energy anytime and by getting emotionally upset or by physically losing your energy that way. 
And so hopefully that uh, kind of uh, is my response to it. But once again, thank you, LP, for responding. And uh, I appreciate the comments, even though it may not be a favorable one. I, uh, I enjoy the comment. Now, the other comment, I'm not sure if it was a, a joke or uh, a negative comment. It could have been. Uh, William Rothschild, I appreciate your comment as well. Um, look at the emoji. It looks like he was kind of making, uh, I don't know if he was kind of making fun of me or not, but that's okay. You know, I appreciate it, William, for your comment and taking the time out to write. Now, uh, you know, I don't know, I actually have to go back and look at the video again because I've done so many of them. I can't remember exactly what I said. But what I meant to say, maybe, maybe that's what I, maybe that's the way I approach it. What I meant to say is that when I was doing it, when I do types of emphasis and focusing on uh, people around us and looking at mask and energy, what you have to look at is the energy. Now, what people do with the energy, you know, is up to them. And certainly I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to compare different types of, uh, you know, people in history as far as things they did as compared to other people and the things they did. Uh, I, I, that's not that's not the comparison we want to make. What we may want to make is comparison is the fact that people were able to achieve a lot of things in their own fields and their own ideas because of the energy they had. And if you look at Tupac and you look at Napoleon, you look at a lot of these type of people, they have tremendous amounts of energy. And chances are they did a good job of conserving that energy. Now, obviously Tupac, I mean, it, the life... The life expectancy is a key factor here. And obviously, you know, as you live longer, you tend to lose more testosterone. I'm talking males here. That you have to make sure you save your testosterone and using it in ways to, to go ahead and continue to be able to transmute and to achieve things. But what I try to do is look for people that I see that have a lot of, um, uh, a lot of energy. A lot of mass energy. So in that way, a lot of people are very similar. Not that they're actually doing similar things and that they're as important in history as other people. I mean, that's up to you guys to judge. But to my point, the point is, is that as you have strong energy, you're going to be able to achieve a lot if you put it in the right way. And that was kind of what I was talking about, um, you know, in that video. Uh, and I, I, I should probably go back and listen to some videos uh, because I may have changed some viewpoints as well over time. But certainly uh, some of the things that Napoleon did and, and Tupac, you know, that's a little different type of uh, comparison. So that was not the kind of comparison I was trying to make. Uh, but if you're having some fun with it, that's great. Well, yeah, I appreciate that. And if you're saying something bad, negative, well, that's okay too. You know, I'm not going to uh, get all that upset about it. I think that certainly the main point I'm trying to clarify for a lot of the, the viewers uh, who watch and, and subscribe is that um, we all have energy and there's certain people we can tell and I think part of this too is the reason I bring it up is I want you to notice people who have energy and you can tell there are certain types of um, ideas certain things they do that show their level of energy and this is why you want to make sure that you kind of focus be that, and be that type of person. You want to have that glow, that energy around you that people see. Now, when it comes to having partners and being with people, you want those type of people around you as well. You want people around you that have that type of energy. You want to have, you want to be consistent with that energy and have people around you that really kind of help you achieve your goals, become the best person you can become, and really kind of continue moving on with goals and things that you do. And so being surrounded by people who have that same level of energy is important. So it's important to kind of recognize the people who have that type of energy. And I think it's important to look at that and say, okay, you know, how is it that people have this type of energy? Well, certainly it goes back down to the whole idea of your purpose. And if you're on your goal, you're on your purpose, and you're trying to save your energy and transmute it, you can achieve a lot of things. Now, along with those things, we always talk about different types of goals and different types of other types of things that supplement those things, like your diet, nutrition, sleeping, uh, all these type of other habits you should have. 
these things are very important to add to your journey. But you want to make sure that the main thing you do is you're keeping your energy. And this is crucial. This is crucial when it comes to you growing and achieving the goals you have. Because what ends up happening is a lot of people are just drained out. Not that they're good or bad. I mean, everybody's, you know, but they're drained out. Whether or not they're on some addiction because they can't control some of their own stuff inside of them. You know, you know if you can't control retention, you're not going to be able to control anything else. And I think this is the way to start. Now, I, as I said, I, I still have my issue of eating too many carbs and sugar. And so this is my battle going on right now. We all have battles in different areas. But the idea is that you want to continue to look at what is the key quality of, of this. And as all this key quality really is self-discipline. And what you really kind of get down to the bottom basic line is that you have to be self-disciplined. So a lot of people are fighting battles, whether it's pills, drugs, depression, anxiety, uh, whether it's trying to achieve things, money, uh, finances, um, staying in shape, you know, trying to exercise. We all fight these battles, but I believe that you can start by fighting this battle first. This one is to me is the most important, especially for you males. Old, young males, I think all of us get affected by this. And the idea is that you want to go ahead and state the point that you want to make yourself excellent in all you do. Excellence of purpose is important. And so you have your purpose, your goal, you want to become excellent. Now you have to go ahead and kind of do it. And I think the first step to doing it really is focusing on this type of behavior that you stop releasing energy physically, you know, emotionally, whatever it might be, and you learn how to do that, and now I can learn how to master yourself the other ways. And I think and Cicero may have said this, a great philosopher, but um, I believe that um, mastering yourself is the most important battle you're ever going to have. And I think that's the key to the whole thing. So you have to kind of master those demons within yourself. And a lot of people, we don't focus on that. We live in a world that people want to uh, address and and focus on things outside of themselves. But I think all these things outside ourselves is kind of a mirage. I think what's happening is really what's important is inside. How do you react to things? How do you how you focus on things? And how do you have the determination to keep going and keep focusing on your goals and trying to get master those and not get sidetracked into all kinds of temptations and things like that. I think that's the only thing that stops people. I think people can achieve anything they want to achieve, but a lot of people are sidetracked by distractions, goals, all these other types of things, and they can't really focus on that goal because they're being distracted too much by other types of things. All right, my friends, well, enough for today. Once again, I hope you guys have a great day today. This is May 31st. I hope you had a nice Memorial Day weekend. Once again, I'm going to try to do something maybe tomorrow on the the liver king. Uh, I like some of his ideas, the nine things he said, um, none of which was the actual uh, retention, but that's okay. We're going to focus on him anyway because I think he, he had some things we can add to our repertoire of uh, trying to become that excellent person. All right, guys, until next time, have a great day. God bless you guys and battle on!